Here it is, Messengers, the guitars of me in the deluxe version. So this deluxe version gets a box, a cool wood burn box. All right, and inside the box we have, all right, one of my picks that was actually played by me. I collected a bunch of them from rehearsals and all kinds of um, jammings and whatnot. You a little sticker and then a couple other picks. How nice, how very nice. Um, the guitar string that was used by me. Yep, smells like me. There you go. Uh, all right, an eight by 10 of the OGV, which uh, is still alive and well with its neck broken multiple times and the book. So I guess the limited edition is a slip case with the book. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I went for a kind of old school Art Deco look. Uh, Messengers, yeah, the trying to decide the name of the book was, I had a lot of cool names, but Messengers made a lot of sense. Basically, I'm a messenger, I got a gift from God that I get to play music and these are the tools uh, that I get to express that with. And, you know, for me, obviously, uh, you know, signed and everything. Uh, obviously, the beginnings of guitar playing, you don't really know too much about uh, how important these things are for you. You just get guitars, and I'm glad that I kept all of the old guitars. One had to be refound that I had gifted to somebody. But, you know, obviously the 80s, you know, it's like you don't really feel like collecting stuff at that point. You're just doing life. You're out on the road and playing and having fun. Um, but guitars like these, you know, the OGV, just the beginning of it all was the first guitar I got. Um, um, well, first kind of real guitar that I got. I had an SG before that, have no idea where that is. Um, and then I had some swap meet guitar before that. But this was the one that uh, really got Metallica going right here. Obviously inspired by Michael Shanker and his, you know, his uh, 80s white Vs. That was, that was important to me. Uh, he's definitely a hero of mine. Lots of pictures of that. Yes, the first backup guitar, well, second backup guitar, actually. This one, yeah, the So What, which we had to refine from somewhere. Luckily, someone still had it. So, yes, I own that. <laughs> uh, got to hang out with, it got to hang out with Cliff. Yes, all of the early, early guitars, that's kind of the most exciting part for me. Ta uh, you know, tons of stories talking about all these guitars, where they came from, what they meant for me, uh, you know, where the stickers came from and why, why do I try to make every guitar somewhat unique to itself? Because they all, you know, they all have personalities to me. Uh, all these early Vs uh, and early Explorers, they're definitely the shapes that I always really much appreciated and fit my body the best. So this book has lots of cool pictures of them live. Uh, it's got descriptions of why and what they are, which I, I really enjoy. A good combination of highly done photos uh, and stats, you know, pickups, all the different stuff that was on it, where it was used, what tours, whatnot. Uh, how many times the headstocks were broken on cymbals and whatnot. Uh, yeah, here's the one video shoot. How cool was that? Uh, yeah, shooting our first video with that guitar. So tons of history, tons of coolness, tons of very, very artsy photos done of all the guitars, all the way up till, you know, collector guitars, which, uh, you know, Kirk and I really got into, you know, as far as, you know, original explorers and, uh, you know, 50, uh, eight, nine, and 60 um, Les Paul standards, that are, you know, which are pretty 
freaking rare. Uh, so all loaded with all the cool different guitars that, you know, I've had done up for with guys, different artwork. Um, ESP, obviously a big part of the history and doing stuff with me. Really appreciate them and all they've done for me in my life and, uh, and done for us live and for charities and all kinds of stuff. There's a section on amps, you know, pictures from the studio, what we've done uh, to get the sounds that we've got. I don't know if you can get my exact sound. I'm still looking for it. Um, and then some of the new electric guitars that I'm playing now. Um, yeah, old, new, just filled with, filled with coolness. Um, and yeah, on uh, the front and back, all the, the, the six, the six horsemen, <laughs> the old, old white guitars from, from the old days. Um, so there you go. This is Messengers and I hope you enjoy it. It's been a labor of love and I got lots of help from other people that have cool memories of these guitars as well. And a lot of the stuff that I had forgotten that uh, they remember. So there you go. Hope you enjoy it. I'm glad that I've done this. Thanks.